All right, let's get right down to it. This is a used John boat that I bought for duck hunting primarily, also for fishing, but I wanted to give it a camouflage paint job. The problem that I had was that the existing paint was completely worn away in spots down to the bare aluminum, as you can see on the seats and the deck. It was silver and shiny. So we washed the boat down pretty well and dried it off, made sure it was nice and clean and dry. Didn't worry too much about sanding it because everything was already pretty flat and smooth. And we primed the bare spots first. And to do that, I used this Rust-Oleum self-etching primer. It's a spray paint, comes in a, uh, a spray paint can, obviously. Bought it at Walmart for, I think, like $4.98 a can. Uh, pretty good stuff, just the bare spots I did. And then the rest of the boat, I painted right over. And I used this Parker Duck Boat paint. We used the Hunter Green. Uh, actually, the first coat I did looked kind of blotchy. Here's one of my nephews painting the boat, helping me out. The first coat was kind of blotchy, but by the time we got around to doing the second coat, it actually looked really good. It filled in, and it looked like almost a new boat. Um, in fact, I was up at Cabela's, and I saw a whole bunch of new John boats, and my boat looked almost like those. Uh, as far as the camouflaging goes, Parker also makes these spray paint cans, and you can stencil right over leaves to make your camouflage. We use the dead grass, the sand tan, the cattail brown, and black, which for some reason is not represented in this photo. But all we had to do was pluck some leaves, some oak leaves. Uh, I've got a Japanese maple leaf there in my left hand. And all you have to do is just mist over it, just like that, nothing to it. Just don't hold it too close because the paint will collect and run down very liquidy. Make sure it's uh, very aerosol-y when you spray it on. Is that a word? I don't know. But anyway, this is primarily the santan and the marsh grass. and it looked really good, almost like sunlight streaming through leaves, and you're getting the shadows, that shadowing effect. But I wanted to get a little bit more color, so we went ahead and, and did black and brown, the cattail brown and the black. And we actually did that with just pine needles, held the pine needles on last. It really gave it a great sort of a, a look with depth to it, nice color and depth. I put two of those clamp-on boat seats there, and I camouflaged the back of those. Those were flipped down there. And... There's some more of the dark paint with the pine needles. Actually looks like sunlight streaming through the trees there almost. So I love that camouflage effect. Oh yeah, and you know what? I did it. A cooler. Why not camouflage your cooler too? It's fantastic for dry storage. Put all kinds of things in there. You can figure out what you need to put in there. In a pinch you can use it as a third seat and you can even use it as a live well. Uh, Bass Pro, Cabela's, the sporting goods stores, they sell these portable live well kits and it enables you to pump water right from your lake or river, whatever body of water you're floating in, the ocean, the bay, whatever, right into the cooler, fill it up, and then it keeps the water bubbling and aerated so you can keep your fish alive in there all day. That's a pretty cool idea. So we got the before shot, boat looked pretty beat up before, and then thank you, thank you iMovie for being very slow here while you're boring the audience for the after shot to come up. Okay, and there's the after shot. And you see those seats I was talking about, the clamp on boat seats. They look pretty cool, the back camouflaged as well. So, boat was ready for the water. Went out and tested it and all the paint adhered. We gave it a day to dry and had a great time. So, hope that helps you out. Have fun.